Welcome, in front of me is a OnePlus Pad 3 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this tablet. So, when you boot it up for the first time, you should be presented with the hello screen where just press on the arrow and then find your desired language from the list. Now, there's much more options, you can just scroll down on it. Um, now, for me, it already selected a correct language, which I'm just gonna select next in this case. And then we can choose a region. Now, in terms of region, I do recommend selecting a European uh, Union region, like for instance, Poland, Germany, or something else. As when it comes on consumer rights, European Union has better ones. And uh, presumably, if you, for instance, select one of those regions and they come up with some kind of consumer friendly law which they tend to do uh, then if you have the region set to well that region uh, then your device supposedly would have to comply with this uh, with these laws as an example if we take in consideration something like apple if you choose that uh, you have your iphone in eu they will need to open up the store or the system for you to be able to have alternative uh, stores as right now European Union is just kind of bashing Apple over the head uh, with this and they are basically kicking and screaming like a rambunctious little shit child uh, that only a mother can love and uh, they're paying fines because they are refusing to or trying to refuse to do this but at the end of the day they will need to open up the uh, iOS for alternative stores which will get you better prices on applications as those stores will also have applications but from not Apple and uh, obviously Apple will only comply with this in the EU so US will be kind of screwed and won't have that option there so best you choose EU in any case um, from here just once you select your region you can go to the next page and we can select legal information like uh, or not select but read so user agreement and the privacy policy you can tap on the blue view detail text and this will show you the entire uh, user agreement and the privacy policy but if you're like basically all of us uh, you'll probably never read a single word of it and that's completely fine just gonna go to the next page now here we can set up using another device, another device that has Google account sign in and this would basically allow you to transfer over anything that Google stores on the cloud to this device. Basically any data and information, uh, meaning for instance what applications you have downloaded as long as they can be re-downloaded from only Play Store, uh, your for instance contacts, messages and so on. As long as you are using for instance messages from Google. Uh, to send those messages. Obviously, if it's outside of Google Cloud uh, and they can't gather the data on it, uh, they won't be syncing that. So if you were downloading applications from third parties like your browser, uh, those applications will not be moved. Additionally, you don't need to transfer over any kind of data, at least not through this method, as there are better options like the clone phone application that the device comes with by default. And I believe it actually shows up also throughout the setup process. If not, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about at the end of it. So we have next connect to Wi-Fi. This step is completely optional and you don't need to do that. Now you can connect to it and this will automatically set your date and time if you do so and give you the option to log into your Google account. Uh, but I'll be skipping it. I don't really care about the date and time and Google accounts. So moving on. We have unlocking methods. We have password, which consists of pin pattern or password and face recognition, which is a biometrics, which when trying to set it up, you will always also be required to select pin pattern or password. Or you can just not protect your device at all, which I wouldn't really recommend, but that's what I'll be doing as it's faster. You can obviously change that later on in the settings as well. Next, we have Google services like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Let's be honest, this is Android. Toggling this off basically means F all. Uh, I, I would look at this more like a general uh, request from you to Google and Google just spitting in your face and saying, we're going to do what we're going to do. Uh, if these if they wanted to obviously this platform would have been open source and you could see everything but we can't for a reason and also corporations like google are in class action lawsuits and also antitrust lawsuits for a reason and it's not because they're super trustworthy so if you really want your privacy maybe try something like lineage os or something like that which actually gives you the open sourceness and you know that your device is protected and secure unlike this moving on we have recommended services, so up to update. 
that was a tongue twister, auto update overnight, uh, auto update system apps, and some other things. So let's see if there's anything that pops out of me at me. So we have AI service engine. Yeah, bye bye. That just sounds like spyware. Um, yeah, I don't see anything that is uh, kind of something that I'd recommend really turning off. That would just alter the way the device works. So anyway, we can go over all of those. Read the great descriptions and toggle it off if you don't want you can toggle everything out there next we have navigation so we have gestures and buttons you can choose whichever one you prefer uh, i do just like gestures which are selected by default so i'm just gonna move on and let's go to the oxygen os now going back to what i was saying with the uh, cloning your uh, moving over your applications uh, right at the home screen right here we have the clone tablet you can download the same application on your old device and then just select that this is a new tablet uh, on the on your old device you will select that this is an old device i think that might be the only option and then you just scan with that old device qr code on here and you can then easily transfer over all your data of your choice and you have um, much more versatility in what you will be transferring uh, what category of data and exactly what data and this is creating a hotspot between these two devices so it's also a relatively fast process as well but in any case hopefully you found this very helpful and if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching